Bon Fet. Happy Festival, Court Matronge. This is Ryan Oxenberg coming right at you from Together Biohazard Remediation, where we serve all of your biohazard needs. Murder, suicide, accidental death, meth lab cleanup, hoarding. And in 2021, we are still COVID compliant. Thank you very much for screening Together at Court Matronge. It sucks not being there and being confined to my home where I'm slowly descending into madness. Together is about a biohazard remediation cleaner named Julia, whose technician runs out on her on a particularly grisly job. And so in a pinch, she hires another technician who has an appetite for the work. What inspired the film were my conversations I had with biohazard remediation cleaners. And I asked all of them, why would you do a job like this? And most of them said, who else is going to do it? Their whole philosophy was, how can I protect the families from seeing the devastation that occurred in their home? And I thought to myself, Holy, this is a ripe trait for a character. And what is something we can introduce into their lives that will completely throw off their world? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out. Tonally Together was inspired by An American Werewolf in London by John Landis. Just comedy coming from the impossibility of a situation. So, for example, a guy is running at you on the street telling you that they're a vampire and they want to suck your blood. Well, they're just another crazy person on the street. But if they jump on you and bite your neck and you draw blood and they're sucking on it, well, that's freaking scary. So, that's the whole thing I tried to balance with together. Uh, comedy and horror both are super visceral things that are either guaranteed to work or not. You're scared or you're like, eh, or you laugh or you're like, this isn't funny. I'm putting the final touches on a micro budget feature called Foibles. I aim to shoot this year in Los Angeles. Um, it's a dark comedy. Like what if, John Cassavetes, uh, your own Eric Romer, and the Duplass brothers did a horror movie without any horror, just thematically it's about if the search for self-awareness was a horrendous journey. In 2020, I wrapped a short film that's going to start playing in festivals this summer called Teardrop, and it's a morality play dark comedy about, uh, sort of inspired by my time when I'm from Toronto and when I was 20 I moved to Chicago to go to art school and I would invite homeless people up into my dorm room in an effort to feed them, clothe them, you know, give them some positivity, but for me also glean life experience. And so the short film plays with a bunch of these both positive and negative experiences I've had trying to connect with this other person and how it turned on me and the lessons learned from that. Also, last year and this year, I shot completely solo a series of three irreverent, surrealist, absurdist comedy shorts, um, the new Not Normal trilogy. You can Google it, it's on YouTube. Uh, the second one, New Not Normal, it played at Nightmares Film Festival in 2020 and won Best Shut In Short. I did a super cut of the three, and that premiered at 2021 Panic Fest. Um, it completely changed my process in accessing truth and vulnerability uh, through working this way. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much for coming out, everyone. I hope you discover some gems in this short film block. Happy festival and bon cinema!